Hi you guys, this is Queen Sandra XO and I'm coming to you guys with another reading. And this reading is all about is it the thrill of the chase or is it real? So to sum this one up, is just like um is do they just like chasing you or is this an actual thing that they want? Do they like you? You know how sometimes um people that are givers cuz I know I'm a giver, so I'm high, so I'm about to just I'm about to talk a lot. Um you know how sometimes we just like for certain people, it has to be a certain person that we just been to. So do they just like us bending to them or is like is it a mutual type of connection? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I got three pals today. I have A, B, and C. Pick the pal that best resonates with your energy. Always go with always go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I am having I'm still having personal readings on the love me always dot com. I am on I mean I am at <laughs> I am at uh I'm on Instagram at what is it? Queen Sandra XO. I'm on Twitter at Q Sandra XO. It's in the description box. I got t shirts for sale and I love you guys very much. Um let's get started. Cause I'm hot and sleepy, so let's see. So for pal A, actually I'm kind of actually very excited. Let's see for pal A, what's going on? Like, what's happening with this connection? What state is this connection in? That's a better question. What is going on with this connection for Pal A? Oh shit. Jeez, on the autumn cards. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone is very nurturing, very emotional, very beautiful. Like a loving person. Like someone you just want to kiss and hug on. Well, of course, with being discontent, not really being satisfied with the offers, like wanting more. And trying to figure out what would make them happy so you go ghost and concentrate on happiness hmm okay miss cancel Pisces Scorpio needing balance with your knight of pentacles your slow motherfucker Well, it's a divine thing. Something that is taming of the heart. Something that's a mutual love. Trying to move forward. Trying to elevate the spiritual and the physical. Give me one second. I think that was loud. I'm trying to turn off my... um air purifier so it's like there is a balance between some type of mental i don't know let me move on i'm probably getting too deep and shit seven of pentacles a lot of money a lot of pentacles energy this pinnacle energy is all about being very solid very grounded money you know material this 3d so well security I think your security is in question. It's like you're waiting for something to move forward. Waiting to take a leap. But somebody's taking all fucking day, so you concentrate on yourself. Huh. Okay. What's going on with pal A? Time to act. You'll be receiving a gift. January this month you want to be receiving something something that uh, probably originated from November or something that will be happening in November beware of greed and a problem to be solved oh, beware of greed well greed, great pride if you have a new business venture a new creative idea, a new venture, a fresh start danger especially money, so watch your money and somebody might be working against you behind your back. But see, Spirit is saying don't worry about it because 
You got some success coming with a man, a younger man, maybe two men. Mm. That'd be nice, right? Success. And your money's going to be doing better. So, I feel like something happened to the point where you were tired of waiting and you wanted to concentrate on yourself. So, you started become, creating your own fresh start for you. Like, your money wasn't doing good, so now you're just like, man, fuck it, I'm about to do something better. And Spirit is saying, like, you have some type of gift that's coming this month. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift this month. Beware of being greedy because I keep on reading it as greed, not great pride. Somebody is, you got somebody working against you. Maybe it's probably even this person, this, <laughs> this man. Maybe he's a Sagittarius or um, a Scorpio. That's November, birth of November. But some type of success and good fortune. Something's changing. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what they think about you, though, real quick. Because I'm not even answering the question. I'm just being nosy. Answer the question or something. What is... What is their thoughts about power? Like, how do they feel for power A? Yeah, I'm high. I'm very high. They're indecisive. <laughs> this person got feelings for you. Well, they're indecisive if they want to take a leap of faith and open their heart. Or if they want to just shut down and be by themselves. All in all, I think they want to commit to you. I think it's real. They didn't play you. That chase, that they didn't play. They didn't play you. No, nah, it's real. They just don't want to tell you that. And they feel like contentment and gratitude with you. Like they happy and they want to close out certain cycles. Like this person is a true romantic at heart. True romantic. Wants you like no other. But they hold themselves back because of who knows, right? So they view you as a queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as the queen of wands, which is a very good combination in my opinion. Um, as being someone who's very confident, but she's a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and someone that they want to give to, I feel like they've been stressed. I feel like you relieve stress for them. I feel like shit, I feel like you relieve stress, and I feel like you create stress for them. Like, stress and not being able to fully be what they want with you, and then not having stress because when they are with you or when they think about you, it kind of, you might even suck their dick and relieve their stress, you know what I'm saying? So... I don't know either way they think about you <laughs> now they view you as being someone who's very confident very sexy like you're very alluring to them because the combination of the queen now i can see if you were the combination of the <clears throat> the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords that's more of a combination of i am a woman and don't fuck with me type of combination this is more of a Come here, daddy. I'm going to take care of you type of energy. Like, because the queen of cups, she's all about taking care of a man. All about loving and being empathetic and being able to sit and wait for him and be there when he needs her. And then the queen of wands is like, I'm going to suck your dick and let's create a business together. So these two are a good combination. The other two are a good combination as well. But for romance, for someone to view you, they view you as being someone who is able to love and fuck them well. That makes sense. They view you as being very self-sufficient as well. <laughs> like, you're kind of smart. Very balanced. Perfect timing is something. This person is not playing you whatsoever. They just, they fucked up in the head. We all are, but they stopped themselves. They're coming off as the emperor. Now you're coming up as the queen of pentacles. Someone who's very self-sufficient. But queen of pentacles is always, always, queen of pentacles is wifey. And then Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords is like ex-wifey. If that makes any type of sense. I'm high. Don't don't pay attention to me. So the Four of Pentacles is wanting to hold on to someone. Wanting to hold on to this connection. But wanting to elevate it. Standing your ground. Hmm. But you are what they want. This partnership is what they want. So they, they're not playing you. Not whatsoever. 
This person wants you. They let's see why they hold you back. Why they yeah, why they hold themselves back. Let's see. Why do they hold themselves back? Why do they hold themselves back? Hmm. I'm not gonna talk until I'm done. Cause I wanna get the full story. I feel like it's some bullshit though. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing when they become defensive and then they start coming back around the way of them committing to you is to come around you and give you a good time that's the way they commit some bullshit I told you um okay this person's gonna reach out soon so be prepared for them to text you I, I got it. So this person stops themselves because they have other interests in their lives. Not people, because I don't even see no cup cards, really. So it ain't no type of emotion. This emotion I feel, this two of cups over here is only for you. Oh, they got a four of cups, too, but that's discontent. So <laughs> you don't want that one. It, it's, it's like the connection is solely based around this person, your person. So when they're in the mood, they're in the mood. When they're not, they're not. It's like they have that ace of wands, that ace of pentacles, that, that fire and desire for you. They want something solid with you, definitely. Like they think about it. But then discontentment in their life happens. Then they think about your attraction again. Then they were like, damn, I'm trapped into a situation I'm feeling like. But I kind of want to work on it. And then at the end of it, it gives them anxiety. So going back and forth, that's what I, they're holding them own selves back. I think it's uh, what is it, a mental issue or financial? I don't see money, but I don't see swords either. I see nine of swords and eight of swords, but if anything, it would be mental. If anything, so this person overthinks themselves, and it causes them to have more stress than they need. And that's the fucked up part about it because they probably can, y'all probably can be something great. Fuck, I burnt my nail and I just got my nails done. I'm pissed. Oh, I don't think I got this blue color either. Fuck. Anyways, so. Oh, I'm pissed. So, um. Did they play you? It, it's not the thrill of the chase for them. Trust me. It actually gives them more anxiety than anything. It makes them feel some type of way. So it's not... No. no they didn't play you. No, they actually, they actually care. I want to see what's going to happen next, though. What is next? For the couple. For the campus. No. Oh. Being friends. Like somebody, this person is going to try to help and support you in some type of way. I think y'all going to honestly build a true friendship. Hmm. What's next? Spending time, like disconnecting from the world. This person was like brought on your spiritual path for a reason. To show you how to love yourself and depend on you. How to be comfortable with you. Keeping things lighthearted. Also keeping an open mind about learning from them. Hmm. But very soon. Very soon this person's coming back around to flirt with you. So let it happen. Spirit is saying let it happen. Take them panties off. I so I feel like somebody's going to come and make the effort around you. It ain't what you want because they're not really ready. It's still that kind of unrequited um, energy. Like, it's still some bullshit to sum it up. I don't know how to really make that politically correct, but it's, it's some bullshit. Oh, shit. I'll never get this message, but... 
Spirit is saying, um, if you let them go and trust that we give something better, we'll bring you a soulmate. So, I don't know if you want to leave, but Spirit says if you want to, if you release them, trust in divine order, we'll bring you that soulmate that you're looking for very soon. Because I see very soon popping out. Right there. So, I don't know. I mean, do what y'all want to do, but it's hard. It is hard. It is a hard fucking thing to let go of somebody that you love. So, but we're going to move. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if it resonated. But we're going to move on to Pal B. So, for Pal B, what is, what's going on with this connection? Let's be nosy. What is going on with this connection? Oh shit. That's a lot of cars. Alright. Ooh, it's divine. It's the lovers card. A balance in love. A balance, a misbalance in communication. A misbalance in, hmm, heart. Tower card, devil card, emperor card, patience, nine of pentacles, queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I see Aries, I see Capricorn. I see a lot of earth energy. You waiting for love. Waiting for the, what? Are you, whoever this person is, you waiting for them to step up. It's like some type of time moment happened between y'all from some addiction of them, from them. And you came off as being patient, waiting, still being single, but being very loving and caring towards this emperor because you're turned this way. You can't see, but you're turned this way, and he's turned. Shit, he's straight. He's not even looking at you, but you. Not looking at him either because you got your eyes closed, but you faced him. So you, it's, I, you probably even feel like you've been doing a lot for this motherfucker. And you just don't get nothing back because everything falls down when it's, when it's for them. If that makes any type of sense. So a balance in love is needed. That's what that probably means. Hmm. Eight of Swords being trapped, trapped in these emotions, like coming at you smooth, like coming at you very romantic, but not offering you shit. Like taking forever to offer something stable. Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Huh. Yeah, he won't. He's this Emperor is gonna hold on to this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, Queen of Cups. And gonna give a little bit more. Y'all gonna move forward. Is he stringing her alone? I heard a little bit. He wanna see how far I can go. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look, I was just saying you was a queen of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hmm. Shit, you kinda indecisive too. You don't know what to do either. Okay, both of y'all feel the same. Mirroring effect. Now you're coming up as a queen of wands. I think you wanna walk away. I think she wants to. They're coming up as a king of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. The only thing we're missing is swords. But I got the messenger of swords. So, this person's coming off as an energy of trying to be stable in their own selves. Like, still be optimistic and have something to tell you. And they're going to tell you this fast. Actually, it's coming. Some type of message, some type of clarity. And it's not going to be, even if it doesn't come soon, it's going to be like abruptly. It's going to come out of fucking nowhere. It's going to come out of nowhere. That's probably them right now texting me. Coming out of fucking nowhere. And it's going to shock you because the, the Knight of Swords, he, he's not all that nice. He's not all that nice. Oh, shit, that is them texting me. Oh, my God. Gee, that's scary. Oh, that's so scary. That's him. Oh, shit. Anyway, so 
Y'all stay optimistic about this because it's a mutual thing. Like this person does actually care because you got the two of cups and they think about you and they want to offer something to you. It's just this person's in their fucking head. And I feel like when they think about you, if you feel some type of flame for them. Hmm. Gee, y'all know I'm high, so that just freaked me the fuck out. This nigga barely texts me. Oh, I know why, because I didn't text him back. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so let's see. What's going on with Pavi? Should I text him back again? Ah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait probably till tomorrow. Palpy. You about to get something. You about to get something you want. Some type of action. I don't think this person. Look, this thing. Oh. Y'all are. Y'all mirror each other. It's weird. It's very weird because I was just about to say. Oh, you need to do. You need to start praying. I was about to say that um, this person's thinking about conquering balance. I thought this was the world. This is balance. Oh my God, that's why this makes so much sense. Because I was like, this person's thinking about conquering the world, and then I saw yin yang, and then I saw you. You guys are both thinking about how to balance out this situation. Y'all, y'all mirror each other. Like you stay imprisoned in this situation because. Because you want to be there. You want to be. What is this financial constraints? Hostilities. Oh, okay. So when, I believe that when this, this person, whoever your counterpart is, um, happy family. When they feel broke. I'm going to sum that up. When they feel broke, they get hostile. They don't like feeling broke. They uncomfortable. Which, look, honey, let me tell you something. I feel hostile when I'm broke too. So when this person is broke, they feel very hostile. They want to fight. And they fighting off love for you. So it ain't, it's not because they don't love you or they don't care. It's just that they uncomfortable where they are. They uncomfortable. But they do feel like in the back, especially since I put it right here, they do feel like in the back of their mind they could have something with you for real. So this person is stringing you along, yes. Just to see how far you will go with them. It's bad, but it ain't bad as it could be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking asshole. Seven chakra. I mean seven chakra. Six chakra. Use your intuition when it comes to this. Your third eye is glowing, honey. You know what to do. Rest up. Don't believe the hype because this person is, he got something to tell you. This, this mask and this thinking man. Has them to tell you about how they feel about you. And they feel a lot. And they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you. As soon as they get that cool healing piece that's coming. Because I see all blue. And the only thing that's fiery is that deceit. Because they haven't told you. So the only thing that's keeping them from being truly at peace is. Damn. I'm getting deep today. Is them telling you. How they feel. Hmm. That's the only thing that's going to bring a peace. And I think it's going to come from spirit. Because look at spirit. Look at spirit. Look at spirit. So when spirit is ready, they're going to open a door. And this person is going to be ready for love. Because they're going to feel more solid in their energy. And then that door of romance is going to open. And it's going to be something that they need. Because they're going to see you as the goddess of the moon. Someone who's a manifester, who created. This is beautiful. This person loves you deep down is going to tell you this but when spirit says it's time then it's going to be time to move and they're going to everything is going to open to you like your relationship is going to be open it's going to be ready like spirit is going to be like okay well divine timing and then that's when it's going to be truly ready now i can't give you a time let's see if we can get a time 
this reading has been all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all. You got it. It's yours. So you know this relationship is yours. Girl, you better concentrate on getting that money. Yes, honey. Get that money. Ooh, they about to come around and fuck. I see two weeks. What's the timing of this relationship? It has any timings. Prayer. Pray about this romance. Pray for the things that you want. Pray for the things that you want. That's important. Pray over your love life. That's extra important. I like that one. Health. Hmm. Use your mental health. Use that use that intuition. Make sure you stay balanced. Within a month, fuck them. Get your money, bitch. <laughs> Let it go. Get your look, fuck them, get your money, bitch. That's hilarious. I'm funny. Within a month. I feel like you know y'all about to start fucking. Because you got you need some dick or some pussy. You got fuck them. You about to get some dick. And success. So your only two time cards is two weeks and a month. But I don't think commitment is about to happen in a month. I, I I hear six months. I hear a couple of months down the line. Not right now. This person's still working through some fucking issues. Why do we all have so many fucking issues? Including me. But for your relationship, I think that you guys are going to be good. I just think that divine timing is at play. And it's fucked up, I know. To have to fucking wait. But I feel like once divine. Once God or whoever you believe in is ready. They're like making it perfect for you. Making it fucking perfect. Because I believe that if they open the doors right now. It wouldn't be what you want. It'd be something that you would want to throw away. Like throw the whole damn baby away. You'll just want to throw the whole goddamn relationship away. Because it won't be what you think it would be. This person's not ready. But when they are, it's going to be perfect. Okay, so we're going to move on to power C. Because I think I explained the rest of that. Did they play you a little? I mean, are they stringing you along? They are. It's just... I think the string is going to be worth it at the end. <laughs> but you can leave if you want to. You can always leave if you want to. So we're going to move on to power C. If you like the reading, like the reading, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if it resonated. We're going to move on to Pal C. Now, Pal C, is he or she stringing you along? Not at all. They love your dirty draws. Hmm. I wonder what that means. What's going on for Pal C? Oh, shit, they come, they miss you. They come back around. Reconciliation, religious factors. You are meant to be on their spiritual path. You stir their feelings and they've been watching. Creepy, but okay. Think that you're very beautiful, but probably still stuck on a fucking ex. Who, you know. Throw these fucking exes away, too. Soulmate, past life, friendship. You guys were friends in a past life. You guys are friends now. Soulmate. Yeah. Soulmate past life. This is like karmic. This is like some deep shit. Like some deep type of relationship. Because past life and soulmate, that's like magnified to me. And religious factors. <laughs> so you've known this person before, definitely. In a past life. And your soul's connected in that past life. And your souls were meant to be on this lifetime as well. So this was divinely orchestrated. Mm. They do love you. But y'all have separation right now. That's probably why you think they're stringing you along. In this separation, they still feel <clears throat> the same. Like you are meant for them. They just can't explain why. They want to make the effort because they feel comfortable around you. But the way they make the effort is them flirting with you. Them teasing you. 
Is that Trojan in the way I think it's Trojan? What is that Trojan name? Oh, fuck. Hold on. Oh, somebody's trying to have a baby. I think that's somebody. It'd be, okay, a couple things. Somebody's trying to manifest the baby. Um, somebody is trying to manifest a better future or like bring innocence into the situation. Um, or you guys have known each other from childhood. It can be all those, either one. Money's an issue, which money should never be the issue. Engagement, ascending to a, a higher level of commitment. Oh, uh, but I see unrequited. Okay, okay. So this person might be acting unrequited right now, but Spirit is saying stay optimistic. That shit changes. Shit changing. Religious factors. Y'all coming back around to each other. Make the effort. This want to come out so bad. Unrequited. Huh. Let me get some more information. So what's going on with Pal C? Is he or she stringing them along? Or is it real? Is it real? Victory. Hmm. Financial control. Oh, somebody's trying to get some money. And hiding something. What you hiding? Goddess of the moon. Working hard. Killer and magician. Storm warning. This reading is all over the place. This goddess of the moon is trying to get her money together. Actually, I feel like you're going to be ripped. If you're the woman, something's going on with your money that you're going to be victorious with. That you're going to conquer. Storm warning. Broken heart. What is going on with y'all? Having anxiety. This person's having it. This, your, whoever this masculine is, is having anxiety. Oh, envious. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if this one's true, but uh, somebody's married. And they're having anxiety because they're envious of your husband. But if you don't got nobody... They want to commit to you, and it gives them anxiety, but they don't know how. And they they upset about that. This is weird. Let me dial this back in. Why are you having so much anxiety? What is going on with Pal C? Lord, reach out and touch me. And decisive about feelings. Wanting to take a leap of faith. Wanting to have joy, contentment, and peace. Having inner peace. Huh. Going on a new adventure. This King of Swords. Gemini Aquarius Libra. But having some type of false sense of entrapment, that anxiety card. Wanting to spread their wings. Hmm. Yeah, somebody want to have a baby. It's Empress. <laughs> She's carrying a baby. Hmm. Not a source of anxiety again. Somebody's having so much anxiety. Having feelings, wanting to, <laughs> somebody wants a family, joy, contentment, peace. It's like somebody wants that emotional stability. Having that emotional stability, but lack of communication. Someone going to hermit, but wanting to commit. It's weird. Wanting to give balance, but not really being too happy. Awakening and then being left out in the cold. This person seems very weird. Like, their energy is all over the place. It's like, they're very indecisive about you, but then they have feelings. Then they want to take a leap of faith. And then they halt themselves when they're on the journey with you, feeling that peace, 
and then they start thinking and then the ego comes out and then they see you as an empress someone who's very tolerable someone who's a creator someone who's abundant someone they can have children with and they believe that you're on your on their path and they have feelings feel that joy but then anxiety and then they stop talking then they go to hermit mode then they come back around you they think they can commit again want to get balance but then start feeling lack again their spirit's like what are you doing and then they start feeling like complete left out and cold this person <laughs> girl so how do they how do their this person feel about palsy how do they feel about you so weird now they want to get balance justice karma karmic well you might be a karmic a, <laughs> their karma and they're scared of that king of pentacles libra not libra he was coming up as i think libra this is a uh, capricorn virgo taurus this is aries this is i don't know if the hermit is virgo but they're going into hermit mode concentrated on money not being comfortable where they are feeling lack feeling like they planted some seeds but shit ain't happening and now it's like all they can concentrate is their stability and it causes them this man whoever this masculine is has so much anxiety is anxiety every reading i pull out anxiety they can't calm the foot smoke some weed and calm down shit six of wands wanting victory but feeling stressed they stressed it's like this person stays in their mind and that's like their escape like daydreaming and stuff like that like learning hmm this is supposed to be how they feel about you not how they feel about life this person's kind of selfish oh, let me see how they feel about you they can't do this to them how does Palace and person feel about them? Trust. Oh, they trust you. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe this is the pal that wants to have the baby, right? Okay. Y'all might have a boy and a girl. Or twins. Neither one. But they want it too. They want the baby too. You guys are in separation. But they feel like you're very healing. Like they, they, they feel like they can have a family with you definitely. This person is worth the wait. If you choose to wait. I don't choose. I don't say wait for no motherfucker. But if you want to. I mean you can if you want to. Stay optimistic about it too. Because this person was meant to be on your spiritual path. Just let shit happen and learn from your mistakes when it comes to this person. Learn and grow. That's why it's karmic. Learn and grow. Finances and career. Look, hey, attract the finance. Worked on that money. Attraction of finances. <laughs> and pay attention to hmm. Pay attention to the small things in this relationship. Like your small wins. Because they're coming back around. Definitely. Hmm. Okay, it makes sense. This person is... um. Uh, kind of selfish and self-centered it's like they have like a woe is me type of personality and they can't even though they're pretty sure they've been through some shit in their past but it's like this person is just selfish just selfish and wants everything to be about them hmm. and it causes them anxiety like they have so much anxiety but they feel something for you like this person loves you definitely they're just steady in their head they can't sit down but they trust you. They feel comfortable with you. Like like they like spending time with you. You're very healing. They want to have a baby with you. You guys mirror each other. They feel like you are actually worth the wait. Stay very optimistic. And they want to come around to you. So they will. And they probably will give you some dick too. But good for you. Or give you some pussy you know. Love is love. 
If this made any type of sense to y'all, let me know. Because I was kind of all over the place. I didn't get this one at first. But let me know if this made any type of sense. And I'll talk to you on the next one.